Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not the last prophet. How come? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Khatam al nabiyyin Yes, Khatam al nabiyyin means the beauty of the prophets, not the last prophet. Are you sure about what you're saying? What you're saying is totally wrong. It's not wrong. There are prophets after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad is the beauty of the prophets and the last prophet. And I'll explain you why. One day a Jew came to Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anh and said, Commander of the believers, there is a verse in your holy book which is recited by all of you Muslims. Had it been revealed to us, we would have taken the day on which it was revealed as a day of celebration. So which verse is this? And we hear about word Khatam al nabiyyin What does it mean? What was the age of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him when he received the first message and when did he pass away? Insha'Allah we will answer the above questions in this video. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The prophethood came to an end with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and the religion was completed and perfected. The words of Allah were finally revealed through Angel Jibreel, peace be upon him, over 23 years. From the age of 40 to 63 when he, peace be upon him, passed away. One day a Jew came to Umar ibn al-Khattab and said, Commander of the believers, there is a verse in your holy book which is recited by all of you Muslims. Had it been revealed to us, we would have taken the day on which it was revealed as a day of celebration. Umar radiallahu anhu asked, What verse is it? The Jew replied, The verse is, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورجيت لكم الإسلام دينا. Today I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu then said, No doubt about it at all. We know where and when this verse was revealed. It was a Friday. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was standing at Arafat. This verse set, as it were, a seal on the message of the Quran. It was revealed 81 or 82 days before the death of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This verse clearly points to the fact that Almighty Allah has perfected the faith and bestowed the full measure of His blessing upon the believers. Indeed, this verse represents the greatest favor of Allah on the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. For he has perfected the religion for them and so they don't need any way of life other than Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as his last messenger to all of mankind. Muslims don't need any additions, deletations or changes in their religion. Allah has completed it for them. Is Al-Quran only for Muslims? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the seal of all the prophets. The Quran is the culmination and the end of all divine revelations. Al-Quran has universal applicability. This means that its teachings are suitable and useful everywhere in the world and all the times. Its text is incorruptible because Almighty Allah has taken it upon Himself to protect it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhoon. Al-Qur'an is the record of all the words and messages exactly as conveyed to the Prophet peace be upon him by Allah and arranged by the Prophet peace be upon him himself by the revelation of Allah. The finality of the Prophethood in Allah's Messenger peace be upon him rests on the clear words of the Qur'an and the saying of the Prophet peace be upon him himself. But what, what do you say of some people claim that the seal of the prophets means the beauty of the prophets and it doesn't mean the final of the prophets? 
Thus they claim that there are prophets who came after Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. What do you think about this claim? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, My example and the example of the prophets before me is like that of a man who has built a house and he made it very good and very beautiful with the exception of one stone in the corner. So people began to go around it and to wonder at it and say, Why has this stone not been placed? The Prophet peace be upon him said, I am this stone and I am the last of the Prophets. This hadith in which the Prophet peace be upon him speaks of himself as the last of the messengers makes it very clear that no Prophet would appear after him. Moreover, all prophets were only for their people, but Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is for all human beings. All prophets had the same message, and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him came to complete the message and the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The appearance of Allah's messenger peace be upon him made the institution of prophethood universal. The day of a national prophet was over, and one last prophet was raised for all nations, for all peoples of whatever tribe, color, language or place. So, so what, what is, is the, the meaning, meaning of Prophet, prophet Muhammad, Muhammad peace be upon, upon him, Khatam al nabiyyin It means Allah's Messenger peace be upon him is the seal of all the prophets and the beauty of all the prophets. He is the universal and final messenger of Allah to all mankind whom he leads from darkness into light. Indeed, he is Allah's favor to those who believe in him and what he brought. He is Allah's favor even to the people of the book who may yet come to believe in him. He is the man whom Almighty Allah created with a character eminent as the standard for mankind. He is the perfect man and an excellent model for every Muslim, male or female, young or old. He brought to us the Qur'an exactly as it was revealed to him by Allah. His own life was the perfect interpretation of the noble Qur'an through his fantastic teachings and marvelous example. He has shown us the right and true practice of Islam and Islamic virtues. He is a perfect model not merely for one generation but for all generations. Not merely for a time but for all time. May Allah's peace and the blessings be upon him. O oh Allah, forgive me, my parents and the believers, when the day of judgment will be established. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.